Hi, I'm Adam Simpkins, an Information Security Program Manager in Guidehouse's Health Sector. I'm here to talk to you about federal high-value asset systems, also known as HVAs, and how new requirements may impact your organization. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, has been tasked with security oversight of federal systems deemed as HVAs by their agency. In 2018, the Department of Homeland Security released a directive to all federal civilian agencies requiring them to submit a prioritized list of HVAs to CISA. Following this directive, CISA developed a program that requires all HVA systems to undergo additional scrutiny of their information security programs. All HVAs must be assessed at least once every three years in accordance with the CISA methodology. Systems have been deemed as either Tier 1 or non-Tier 1 by CISA, which directly relates to the scrutiny of the assessment. Tier 1 systems must be assessed by CISA itself one time every three years, and NT1 systems must also be assessed one time every three years, but by a CISA qualified assessor. Given the importance of securing these systems, additional visibility of the assessments, and additional burden on system owners and staff, it is essential to have a plan for addressing these new requirements. Each federal civilian agency should have a designated point of contact for HVA requirements. This person should be able to help you understand your agency or operational division strategy related to HVA requirements. If you are looking for outside support, Guidehouse has been helping our clients across the federal government work through these new requirements. We have CISA qualified assessors that can perform the NT1 assessment for you, help guide your team on preparing internal resources, or perform internal pre-assessments to help you with your Tier 1 or NT1 assessment. Please feel free to reach out using the contact information below if you would like more information.